Hey guys, how's it going? It's Shinobi here, and I got a nice little video for you because with two weeks to go for Mr. Pandaria, I figured that we should focus a little stronger on World of Warcraft, whereas Diablo 3, I've been doing a lot of guides for that, so I decided to do a guide for Mr. Pandaria, and some people have been asking me, where have all the gold guides been for, you know, World of Warcraft? Because, I'm, you know, that's what I'm pretty much known for. It's where I got a lot of my popularity was my gold guides for World of Warcraft. And the last one I put out was not was about a month or so ago, and, you know, I decided to slow down on that just a little bit because, let's say I were to put out a gold guide, like, I don't know, a week ago, with three weeks to go to Miss Pandaria, and then Miss Pandaria comes out, and that guy doesn't really make any sense anymore, uh, you know, so I just thought it would be best to wait till Miss Pandaria, because I don't want people looking at the video while the new expansion's coming out, and then people go, oh, well, this isn't very relevant, well, I'm sorry, so I, when I make a video, it's got to have a longevity behind it, it's got to be able to be relevant for a good period of time, especially Especially with gold guide type things so for this right here I'm giving you kind of a preparation guide and tools and everything like that for before Mr. Pandaria comes out and when it does release so I hope you enjoy the video remember to hit a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you aren't already so let's go now for the first half of this video I'm going to talk about preparing for Mr. Pandaria just kind of things that you should know some facts some things that people don't typically know and maybe you do know them that's great but I'm trying to help out anybody that I can. If I even help out one person with this video, then it's worth it, you know? Just some opinions that I do have. Usually, before an expansion comes out, three, four, five months, something like that, people will take a break, so they won't be playing on the game. So if you're trying to sell things on the auction house right now, or you're seeing that things are coming down in price and they're kind of cheap right now, you're not really getting the value of the items that you want to put on the auction house. The reason why that is, is that, say there's not a lot of people playing World of Warcraft right now, and let's say Timmy puts a stack of elementium ore on the auction house now typically you know it could sell for 30 40 gold for the stack something like that however he puts it up and nobody buys it because nobody's playing so he puts it up again thinking that maybe he put it up too too expensive and then drops the price this time then drops the price so that's why things are cheaper and the other reason why things will be cheaper in the auction house is if there's too many of those items because then people are undercutting each other so those are the two reasons that you know things would be cheaper on the auction house now that's what's going on right now is the first one that I told you is that not a lot of people are playing so you can buy things for cheap so take advantage of that right now you want to buy the top tier things like the volatiles the elemental ore uh, maybe some pets El um, Ember Silk Cloth, Savage Leather, Greater Celestial Essences, Maelstrom Crystals. I put a list on the screen and I put gold next to them to that list there. I don't want you to spend any more than that on each of those just because you want to make a profit, right? And typically these things will probably go up by about double or triple the price um, when the expansion does hit. You may be asking why? Why is that possible? Like why would that be happening? Well for one the prices are kinda low right now to begin with so they are gonna go back up to their normal prices at least but then also people that are leveling professions you know say your, your profession is 525 right now when the expansion comes out you get to go up to 600 right so those items are the top tier items that require the best materials you can use that to get a little bit more levels out of it so you can maybe do a couple enchants to try and you know get a couple more skill levels in your professions and that's why that's important because it's gonna give people an extra boost so people are gonna buy the most recent materials as well as the brand new materials off the auction house which I'll get into in just a minute about that that's why I put a little list down there below hopefully that list helps you out a little bit and now let's get into the next topic some more things that I want you to know is that there are some more ways to prepare for Mr. Pandaria for coming up. You can level up some professions that you you know you might want to do. I'll tell you a couple of professions that I like for Mr. Pandaria, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, the first one I like is going to be skinning leatherworking. Definitely going to be really nice because AOE looting is going to be really nice. Plus, with the introduction of a new leather class, leatherworking is going to be pretty nice. And you know, you can go and you can just go to an area and you can AOE down a bunch of mobs. You can loot them all and then you just skin them. So definitely really nice I mean I can see skinning being really good uh, so that's something you can do it's like nice makes the profession a little bit easier you know also with collecting cloth and doing tailoring that could be another profession that's going to be nice as well I mean leatherworking and tailoring are usually pretty decent professions that can make you a little bit extra gold but with the AOE looting those professions are going to be a little bit stronger because now you can go in AOE and you can collect all the cloth and you can just 
you know, make items a little bit easier. So it does make it a little bit easier there. Also, making some gems and making some glyphs right now are going to be really, really important. Because you may make some glyphs right now and you may say to me, Luke, why don't I just, you know, make gems and glyphs and put them on the auction house right now? And then, you know, people buy them beforehand because people are getting ready, right? Well, that's not totally true because, like I said earlier, a lot of players are going to be coming back on the expansion. So for you to maximize the amount of gold that you're going to make, you need to be selling those items in the first week of Mr. Pandaria. So make a bunch of glyphs, make a bunch of gems. For instance, let's get this to this situation right now. You got Timmy, and he hasn't played for 3-4 months or something like that, so he doesn't know about 5.0.4. He comes back to Mr. Pandaria, installs the game, logs in, and looks, oh boy, all my talents are different now. Oh boy, all my glyphs are different now. I gotta go buy some glyphs. I need some glyphs so I can level up. There you go. So, a lot of people are gonna be like that, so you need to watch for that stuff and kind of like see things that are coming in the future. And the best people that make the most gold in these games are the people that can have a clear view on the future. So definitely very, very important. Make sure that you make some glyphs, make some gems, leather leatherworking skinning is going to be nice, tailoring is going to be nice. So that's something you got to really think about. In this particular clip right here, you'll see that I am farming some frost weave cloth. And you may be asking yourself, Shinobi, why are you farming frost weave cloth? That's Wrath of the Lich King, right? That's kind of weird. Well, I want to tell you about a really great website. It's wow-professions.com. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. But I've used this website for a long, long time. And it helps me realize and helps me know what things to gather for professions. When you're leveling profession, it tells you everything needed to level up profession. How much materials you're going to need this that of this and that and if you go and look at the website especially for tailoring in this one situation you can see that you need 1400 frost weave cloth and 1701 ember silk cloth and those are the two biggest totals out of all the cloth that you need because it's the biggest gap that you need to level up that profession so that's something you can really think of because people are going to need frost weave cloth like crazy and that's why on my server Stacks sell for about 50 to 60 gold, and it's very easy to farm that stuff if you know the right places to go. In the background, I'm showing you an area that you can go to, and it works out really well uh, in that area. I think they did nerf it. I don't think it's as strong as it was before, but if you are going to farm that area, it will help to have tailoring leveled up while doing this because you can get the bonus. You find more cloth if uh, that is the case, and also make sure you're in a level 25 guild. Uh, that'll help out as well. But that's a little tip I can give you as well. Check out that website if you've never checked it out before. You can find out how to level professions and you can see which materials are needed the most so you can farm them the most before the expansion because that's what people are going to need the most when they're leveling their professions. Also, I do want to add that inscriptions is going to look pretty nice because there's going to be a new shoulder enchant, which is going to be something you can look forward to, something you can sell in the auction house. Definitely going to be really popular. Um, so if you are leveling inscription during Missa Pandaria, try and make a bunch of those enchants for the shoulders and sell those on the auction house as quick as possible. Because if you can do that, then you're going to make a good profit. Same thing goes for tailoring. Try and make the new bags as quick as possible and put those on the auction house if you are going to be leveling professions which that is the next thing I want to get into now you have a big choice to make when Miss Pandaria comes out the big million gold question and that is are you going to be making gold or are you going to be leveling professions or are you going to be doing both now if you're doing both you're going to make less gold and you're going to level professions slower if you're just leveling professions you're going to level them quick if you're just leveling if you're just getting a bunch of gold then you're going to make a bunch of gold for me the choice is easy i always pick making gold now miss pandar is going to come out on a tuesday so that means that tuesday wednesday and thursday are typically the best days for the auction house for you to get the max amount of gold from items when you sell it on the auction house the weekend the prices shoot down by a lot cuz a lot more people are playing so there's a lot more undercutting going on so with that said you need to be on top of that. If you want to make gold, then when you're going around and collecting, maybe you're using skinning and leatherworking, and you're going through Miss Pandaria. Okay, that's great. Do a bunch of skinning, get a bunch of skins, throw them up on the auction house. If you're doing instances, make sure you get a bunch of cloth and throw it up on the auction house. I realized that there was a lot of mob when I was doing quests and stuff. There was a lot of mobs that were either skinning or humanoids, and you could get a lot of skins and you could get a lot of cloth. So if you want to do maybe tailoring and skinning to 
um, do questing and go through Mr. Pandaria, and that's going to help out a lot too. So selling those materials is going to be very important. Maybe you're doing enchanting as well. If you're doing dungeons and you know you're disenchanting stuff too, you can fill out in the auction house. So that's just more materials that are great to throw on the auction house instead of using them to level up your professions. What I like to do is I like to collect the most amount of materials as I can, and on Tuesday I'll sell. I'll put a bunch on the auction house. Wednesday I'll put a bunch on the auction house, Thursday I'll put a bunch on the auction house, and then on that all that gold that I made, I'll usually spend about half of that gold rebuying that stuff on the weekend when it drops down in price by a lot, and then level up my professions. So that's a good trick that you can do, and it really works really nicely for me. So that's a big tip that I can give you, and hopefully that does help you out. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching. Again, my name is Shinobi and we do giveaways every week here on the channel. The past couple weeks, Gunho has sponsored the channel and they've been nice enough to give away a lot of free product. Those people have been picked, so check your YouTube inbox or your Gmail or email inbox, whatever you use for your email, and those people will be contacted very shortly. As far as the gear giveaway for Diablo 3, the Barbarian gear giveaway, the winner is on the screen. Congratulations to you. Check your inbox, and you win that free gear that I farmed in Diablo 3. Like I said, I am slowing down a little bit on Diablo 3, at least for this week and next week a little bit. I'm going to maybe put some videos out still, but not as much as I normally do because Mr. Pandaria needs to be the focus right now. Once again, thanks a lot guys, and if you hit that thumbs up and you subscribe in the middle of the screen there, you just click that little guy in the middle of the screen, you can subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot, trying to reach out to more players. That's what it's all about here is reaching out to more players and you know sharing my feedback with them, making them even a little bit better at the games, and it's all worth it, you know? But for this week, I want to do a contest because I'm kind of running out of product now. I think I'm going to go purchase some Missa Pandaria type stuff, maybe some more Diablo stuff. I still do have one Diablo 3 poster left. As far as doing a Gun Ho giveaway this week, because they just did those two big giveaways, uh, they said to me that we'll let you know when we're going to do another giveaway for Gun Ho. So just watch the channel. And you can win that stuff. But they did say that for this week only, they're going to put a 50% discount and free shipping to any of my subscribers that click the link below and purchase some Gun Ho. Now, if you don't know what Gun Ho is, it's their energy shots that are used for gamers for giving them better focus and more energy. I'm going to be using it with my crazy... Uh, level 90, 85 to 90, extravaganza, I don't want to be crashing, I don't want to have jitters or anything like that, or taking soda or any energy drinks, You're just going to crash if you do that stuff, so that's why I take Gun Ho all the time, and that's why it's going to be really key for me to staying awake and being alert and having fun playing the games. So if you want to win a uh, giveaway for this week, guys, all you have to do is hit a comment down below, hit like, you can win yourself my last Diablo 3 poster, I'll sign it for you, I'll do whatever you want, um, I just want to give it away finally, and then next week I'm going to try and find some new prizes and everything like that, and if you do want to donate some prizes to the show as well, just contact me through YouTube, or you can also donate to my PayPal, that information is found on my main page, pretty simple, not something you have to do, but it's an option for people out there that are curious about that, because I have people asking me about that. Well, this has been a pretty long intro. Thanks for watching, and I do appreciate it. Till next time.